Violence is not a subjective feeling. Violence is an objective fact. You cited a list of statistics in your talk which you claim support the idea that illegal immigrants are dangerous or criminals. I'm, I'm, I cited a number of statistics that show that they commit federal crimes at a significantly higher rate than native-born Americans. Yeah. Okay. So what role do you think that structural racism and inherent bias has to play in those statistics? I don't think that the people who enter this country illegally are forced to do so by some sort of systemic racism. There's no systemic American racist going down to El Salvador and saying, you better get up and sneak into the United States. And there's nobody in the United States who forces people who come here illegally to commit crimes. I think the premise of this question is actually quite offensive, though it's a popular assumption, which is that illegal aliens somehow don't have free will. It's the assumption that illegal aliens are somehow morally... Uh, uneducated. They have no sense of right and wrong. They have no ability to control their, their emotions and their impulses. This is obviously profoundly racist and not true. We have free will. We have the ability to do what we want to do. This is why, by the way, the majority of Hispanic, uh, Hispanic people in the United States and Hispanic voters oppose illegal immigration. The, the races are exactly the same. The ethnicity is exactly the same. The question of, of crime is different because race does not determine your criminality. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that people of color are more likely to be convicted of crimes unfairly than the, white people. They're more likely to commit certain crimes. That's true. I don't think that's because of their race. I think it's because of aspects of their free will and perhaps of culture. That, that's not true. I'm talking about... That is true. I'm, I mean, what I just well, said is true. I'm not quite sure where you're getting your statistics from, and you choose from to the federal government. Them. You choose to interpret from them the in your Bureau of Justice Statistics can and I, can Department of Homeland Security. Can I talk about Well, okay? you, you said you didn't know where I got my statistics from, and I'm telling you where I get them from. Well, you, it would have been nice if you could have let me finish my sentence. Anyway, you well, I was using... I was answering your question. You are using your statistics for your own political agenda, and that's your I'm, I'm citing statistics because they're true. I'm talking about the fact that I am, I'm faculty here. I also support our support, uh, um, protester in the back. What do you support specifically? Do you, do you think that anti-immigrant rhetoric is violent free speech? Well, yes, because of the you, reasons... You think that, that speech is violence? Uh, no, I think that... That's the, what that sign says. The conversation that you're having is oppressive. It, um, and so it I am oppressing people by what I'm doing. So I, am, I am exerting violence on people by my speech. It, that's what the sign says, and that's what you just said. It contributes to... And the protester is saying that's exactly what I'm doing, and she's saying that's exactly what her sign means. So that means that you, a faculty member at an American public university, paid for by taxpayer dollars, are conflating speech with violence. Yes. Um, speech can be violent. What you are saying contributes to systemic racism in this country. It means that my students of color are pulled over and accused of stealing a car when they did not. I'm not pulling anybody over for stealing I'm any cars. I, I see many did. people of many different races in this room. I, I, they all seem to be doing just fine. I don't think I, any, any of them have felt violence because they listened to a lecture on, on basic facts about our immigration system. The question was, have I asked people in this room if they've felt as though some violence has been committed on them? Uh, no, I haven't asked because no violence has been committed on you. Because violence is not a subjective feeling. Violence is an objective fact. 